Hey guys, thanks for clicking. So today we just brought home our brand new Ferris 3000 blower. Pretty exciting day. It is, it's August, but I waited, um, waited a few months actually to get this machine. And um, we thought about it for a couple of years because you know, big machine, big money, but I think it's gonna really pay off. So we got it home today. Um, we're gonna go through it. We're gonna play with it a little bit. We just had a storm up here. So there's a lot of leaves down and a lot of branches and stuff. So we're excited to try it out. So let's take a look at it and see uh, what's going on. And there it is. This is a, it's a 35 or 37 horsepower uh, Vanguard. I believe this is the 35 horsepower with the uh, carbureted engine, um, not the fuel injected engine. That's just what they came out with on their uh, 2024 models. Um, it has the three gates, left side, right side, and center which is really cool. I think it comes with 3100 series hydros, uh, two independent hydros on it. A upgrade um, on these is they now come with a fuel gauge. I know, what a crazy concept, right? But apparently the old ones had the thing right here. You couldn't even see down because it wasn't a straight shot and uh, didn't have a fuel gauge. So that was really uh, for the for the amount of money you're paying for these machines um, this is a, a really nice option to have we do have other ferris uh, products really nice build um, comes with four tie downs built in on the machine which is a really nice option because a lot of times you struggle looking for spots to tie down your machine john deere ought to take a tip from them um, <laughs> And anyway, and then uh, I think down here to battery box, but yeah, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna play with it a little bit and uh, see what we think. really nice to be able to spin the machine around on the trailer because we have limited space so putting them on sideways definitely makes it easy to get three machines on. here so you don't really need the option of the other shoots but I really can tell on some tighter properties that that's going to come in handy going around corners uh, trying to squeezing in between sheds and pools and stuff like that where you can use the front shoot or the other shoot uh, I think that's going to come in really handy This is our first uh, stand-on machine, so it feels a little awkward and top-heavy at first, but I think the center of gravity on this machine is really pretty low, and it's, it's actually really stable. Definitely got to duck your head under the trees. <laughs> and going into the enclosed trailer, which I learned the hard way, but other than that, um, she rides pretty nice and pretty smooth, and I think once you get the hang of it, I am really, really excited for leaf season this year. A 
I'm just playing with the uh, different gates here. Um, they, I think they're power window motors on there and they work pretty fast. So adjusting the gates uh, to close one, open another, it's pretty quick and I think uh, once I get the hang of the joystick there, it'll be really convenient to move those in the direction we need to get them into uh, quickly. The idea behind this new machine is, uh, you know, we're a two-person team. So the faster and more efficient that we can clear properties, the more money that we can make. And especially in the end of the year, your daylight starts to get really limited. Uh, so. I think this is going to be a great addition and you know just from the couple days we've been fooling around with this thing it really seems like it's going to um, pay off so look for more videos coming up really soon right so we got it home we've played with it a little bit taking it around just kind of getting the feel for uh, the machine it seems really nice um, the versatility of the three shoots seems really good we like that got a killer little headlight on it I don't know I guess so uh, you could see us I don't know how bright it is at night but it's pretty bright and um, yeah so far so good I really like that you can jump off the machine and still have the air going because I'm pretty sure I'll probably end up with a backpack on while we're running this because you can you know leave the airstream and then you can jump off with the backpack um, so yeah so far so good you know I'm kind of anxious to get it out on a real job and uh you know see how much see how how good it does for us or how much more it's worth having this big machine on the trailer because we uh, haven't tried to fit everything on the trailer yet for uh cleanups to see i don't think we're going to get two big machines on with this but all in all i say this is a really nice well-built quality machine I didn't find anything flimsy about it. Um, pretty impressed. Not too impressed with the price, but uh, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. So hey, thanks for tuning in. You know, keep your eye out. We'll have a lot of videos coming up with this blower in it this season, I'm sure. Um, and um, yeah, that's all. And I'm sure we'll have a review on it. You know, get a, a few hours on it, some working hours on it, and then we'll we'll do another review. But thanks for tuning in. Peace, everybody. Bye.